Hey there, this is Sling Fin Tim, and today I'm going to walk you through the setup of our Windsaber two-person alpine tent. Your Windsaber comes with a stuff sack, a tent body with a pre-attached web truss, a fly sheet, pole sack, four DAC poles, a pole splint, 14 stakes, an accessory bag, 16 DAC twist clips, two cross pole pockets, 10 reflective guy lines, and two kickstand vent struts. We're going to be going through three setup techniques today. The first is the standard technique. It's the fastest and works well in most conditions. The second technique is the high wind technique. It's the same as the first, except you start with the tent body and the web truss partially detached. This allows you to set up all the poles before attaching the tent body. This keeps the wind profile of the tent small, so you don't catch the wind while you're setting up the tent or risk breaking a pole. The final technique replaces the web truss with the included DAC twist clips. This method is best for trips in milder weather where saving weight is your top priority. To begin, assemble the poles. Don't let the pole ends snap together as this can chip the ends of the tubing. Make sure all the sections are fully inserted. Lay the tent body out on the ground. Make sure the black webbing at the openings of the web truss is loosened all the way. Insert the long poles through the web truss and place the pole tips in the grommets. Then, insert the other ends of the poles into the grommets. Take the front pole and feed the pole tips through the black webbing loops on top of the web truss at the head end of the tent. Grommet the tips of the front pole on both sides of the tent. You can attach the pole clips now or do that after the next step. Feed the cross pole through the webbing loop at the top of the center of the web truss and insert the tip of the cross pole into the webbing pocket opposite you. Bend the end of the cross pole closest to you down until it can be inserted into the webbing pocket nearest you. It may be tight and that's okay. The tension in the web truss is one of the things that gives the windsaber its strength. Finish attaching all the pole clips if you haven't already. Once the tent body is set up, tension the four ends of the web truss by pulling on the black webbing at the web truss sleeve openings. This increases the wind resistance and stability of the tent. Next, find a reference marker to orient the fly sheet. This can be the vent, the orange reflective starter tab at the head of the tent, or the contrasting black corner stake loop and fly attachment webbing. Put the fly over the tent. Before attaching the corners of the fly, attach the fly sheet toggles and O-rings around the poles. There are eight toggles along the long poles, one at the top of the front pole, and one more toggle at each end of the cross pole. This step is necessary when setting up the tent in adverse conditions and highly recommended at other times, as it significantly increases the stability of the tent and the effectiveness of the guy lines. Attach the wire gate fly sheet clips to the metal O-rings on the ends of the tent body grommet tabs and stake out the vestibules. Then, tension the fly sheet at each of the attachment points. Once the tent is up, tension the internal guy lines at the foot of the tent by gently pulling on the tensioners. This adds lateral stability to the tent and should be done whenever conditions are windy. The guy lines can be left installed as needed, but make sure you loosen them before taking down the tent so it pitches properly the next time. When extra ventilation is desired, install the kickstand vent struts by unzipping the top zipper slider on the vestibules. Attach the vent struts to the corresponding Velcro patches to prop open the zipper. The high wind technique is very similar to the first technique, except this time, before you set up the tent, you'll detach the side release buckles holding the web truss to the tent body, as well as the wire gated clips at the ends of the cross pole. This allows you to fully set up the poles before you attach the tent body, keeping the wind profile of the tent small so the tent body doesn't catch the wind as you set up the tent. This greatly reduces the risk of breaking a pole during the setup process. First, Make sure all the side release buckles are detached, and detach the wire-gated clips at the sides of the top of the tent body. 
leave the ends of the web truss attached to the tent. This can be done before you leave for your trip if you anticipate windy or exposed campsites. Next, stake down the tent body so it doesn't blow away during setup. Insert the poles through the web truss as per the previous technique. Once all four poles are inserted, tension the web truss by pulling on the webbing. Now, reattach the tent body to the web truss via the side release buckles and gated clips. If you have adjustable ski poles or trekking poles, you can engage the outrigger attachments by putting the tip of your pole on the ground, adjusting the length so the handle is the height of the cross pole, and fastening the Velcro around the pole's handle. Now, attach the fly sheet, including the fly sheet to pole toggle attachments as per the previous technique. If it's windy enough to set up the tent web truss first, then it's definitely windy enough to use the pole toggles. It's also possible to reverse the last two steps, installing the fly sheet before clipping the tent body, and then clipping the tent body to the web truss from underneath the fly, out of the wind. To take the tent down when it's windy, reverse this process by unclipping the tent body from the web truss and removing the poles before unstaking the tent. When removing the poles from the web truss, don't pull the poles straight out from the web truss. This can cause the poles to separate, which is a pain in the neck. Instead, push the poles out through the sleeves. You can pull the poles if you flex the pole as you pull it out. Bending the pole keeps the pole sections together so they don't come apart as you pull. Using the included DAC twist clips instead of the web truss saves some weight from your setup. While the tent isn't quite as strong without the web truss, it's still a perfectly capable four season tent in this configuration. Before you leave for your trip, detach the web truss from the tent body entirely and leave it at home. Install the DAC twist clips to all of the side release buckles on the tent body, as well as the cross pole pockets on the top of the tent. Next, lay the poles out across the top of the tent body. Insert one end of the poles into the grommets. Next, I like to attach the four clips at the top of the tent so the poles don't flop around when you grommet the other ends of the poles. But you do you. Insert the other ends of the poles into the grommets and attach the clips. Then, install the front pole and attach the clips. At the intersections of the front pole and the long poles, attach one clip to each pole. Finish attaching the clips and install the cross pole as before, making sure it crosses over the top of the two long poles, not underneath. Now you're ready to install the fly as before, and you're good to go. Feel free to reach out to us with any questions, and happy trails! Mm -hmm.